Hey, it's Hunter Bolding, and we're here with Hunter Bolding video back for some more Blu-ray collecting tips because I know everybody loves seeing some more of these. The last two videos were things to stop doing with your collection. Today, we're going to be a little more positive, and we're going to go with stuff that you should be doing for your collection to help you save money and to, you know, make your collecting experience a whole lot better. The first tip that I can give to everybody is for all of those boutique labels that we've all talked about, Vinegar Syndrome, Aero Video, Synapse, whoever else, make sure to follow them on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and whatever else, because you might find some things that they post that are awesome. So Vinegar Syndrome, a couple uh, year, year or so ago for around New Year's, they said, hey, this set was out of print, this Amityville set, this beautiful Amityville set that they've made was out of print, but guess what? We found more copies of it in our warehouse and we're gonna put them up on our website at New Year's Day midnight to get them. So make sure you follow them because you'll get so much information. You'll get new releases, old releases. Sometimes the Scream Factory will be like, hey, guess what? We've got Army of Darkness back in stock. So you don't have to pay $80 for the Blu-ray like I did. But so you, you just get plenty of information from it. Follow a lot of accounts, follow other YouTubers too. There's plenty of places and people like Films at Home and stuff like that that have great resources on everything that has to do with collecting. It's not just from me, you can get the tips from, you can get it from everywhere else. And you might get something like this Amityville set that you might've missed out on if you hadn't have been following Vinegar Syndrome on Twitter. Something else that I can sort of give you as a tip is you know, you don't have to find your sort of collection mentor almost or whatever, but find some people that you really trust that'll give you some recommendations that might be a little off the wall. So here's Split, and you can get, still get this Region A Blu-ray. And this is just an insane movie that if I hadn't have subscribed or watched other people's YouTube channels, like Varen Isarak, who's, you know, my quote unquote YouTube mentor or whatever, that I would never have watched this movie. I would never have found out about Verboden video here and gotten this movie and watched it and it's just a wild ride and so you know there's stuff like that there's people that you watch on youtube all the time that you get sort of collection you know advice from and stuff like that or news and so just make sure to broaden your horizons when you're watching stuff and watching videos don't just watch the same ones find new people to watch too that can help you build your collection and find titles that you might have missed out on just like you guys help me with the comments and everything like that which are really helpful for these type of videos because there's stuff that I wouldn't even know about collecting that you guys are teaching me in the comments. So it's sort of this whole community that we're building on YouTube with Blu-ray collecting and 4K collecting that just makes it super awesome. The next tip I can give people is go to your local stores. I went to and found some sick deals at that were awesome. You can get something. We found I found something like the Reanimator Steelbook from Aero Video that is out of print, long out of print for $20. So I, I had a normal sort of bare bones edition of Reanimator. I didn't own this one. If I owned the normal Arrow one, I would have upgraded this for $20 because this is just absolutely, you know, mind-blowingly fantastic, mind-blowingly awesome to get. And you get the booklet and you get the disc and you get everything in here. So, you know, take a look at those stores. And I know some people have said like pawn shops and stuff like that. You might not find collector's stuff like this at pawn shops, but go try to find if there's any sort of you know, retro game stores that might have Blu-rays or just retro media stores in general, record stores, stuff like that. And you might find some prices and some deals on stuff that you wouldn't expect that you'd have to go and hunt on eBay for this or from collector's prices. So always go check out those stores that you might have around you and you might meet some people you like. You might learn some new things about collecting and you might find a sick deal like this one. Here's something that connects to that, like sort of following people on Twitter. You know, if you have don't have a Twitter account or you don't have... You don't use it very often. It's kind of, you're kind of handicapping yourself because there's sometimes people will post sick links to stuff that you might never watch. I never knew that Ghost Watch existed, let alone this excellent, excellent edition from 101 Films. So you get, you know, a sturdy, like I keep saying this about boxes, how sturdy they are. This thing is the sturdiest box I've ever seen on a Blu-ray. And you get just like a booklet here with everything and with full color essays and stuff like that. You get lobby cards, you get another whole just ass book with the script and everything in it. This is an amazing, amazing release of Ghostwatch and Ghostwatch, if you haven't checked it out, is like the precursor to sort of, you know, found footage, sort of news style documentary horror stuff and that aired on the BBC with the actual, you know, 
news sort of broadcast feel. So this is an absolutely awesome one. And I would not have found out about this release if I hadn't have been following other collectors and other people that have the interest of Blu-ray collecting online because this would have just gone under the radar. And so then I ordered it and here we are. I have one of my favorite horror movies now in Ghostwatch. This is a just bigger sort of collector sort of tip here. And that's just, if you're buying stuff and you're buying movies, just every once in a while, don't just go straight to the review for it. And I know that's me saying like, oh, hey, don't look at my reviews of stuff or other people's, but I'm not saying that necessarily. I'm saying before you go and look at a review and find, you know, oh, the movie might be bad or whatever, look up a review of the movie. You know, that's why I love Vinegar Syndrome so much because I can just kind of turn off my brain when I'm scrolling through and go, hmm, you know, that's a pretty cool cover on a movie. I'm, I'm gonna grab that. Or, oh, that's a Christopher Walken movie I've never seen. I might've missed out on something like All American Murder if I would've looked up reviews of it beforehand and this excellent release from Vinegar Syndrome because this movie, it might not be the best movie in the world, but it's an American Jollo film, which I watched the trailer. Watching the trailer for these might feel a little bit like cheating in that way, but the trailer for this movie does not accurately represent what the movie is and it's hilarious how it doesn't because it shows it off like it's some sort of 80s it's a 90s movie obviously but sort of 80s early 90s like teen comedy or something like that when there's people getting murdered somebody gets a hand grenade put down their pants somebody gets lit on fire and so you might miss out on stuff like this if you go and you just look up reviews of everything instead of going by your by your first impression. So it really, for me, it feels like it's replicating that old video store type feel from when you were a kid or whatever, and you're scrolling through and you grab a movie on the shelf and you go, wow, that is Christopher Walken in it. I've never seen that before. Let's watch it. You lose that when you go look for reviews and you lose that with stuff like this, especially a lot of the stuff that Vinegar Syndrome puts out because yes, they will not be very good reviewed movies, but they might be entertaining movies nonetheless that you'll find to get a kick out of. One other tip I can give is just get yourself some high quality shelves. I got these off of Amazon and I can put the link in the description, but you know, they were easy to put together. They're sturdy. They don't bend or break or anything like that. I'm sitting here kicking it at the bottom to try to get something to fall off and something up here might fall off on top of me and kill me. But you know, the movies don't shift around. They're very high quality. They just sit on the ground very nicely and they're just great sturdy shelves and so if you're really getting serious about collecting you want to be serious about you know this is where you're displaying your stuff for you to look at i look at this almost every day you guys look at this on video and you want it to look nice and you want it to hold your collection and hold your pride and joy here really nicely and so invest in something and invest in your collection get yourself some nice shelves don't just get you know, that ratty old bookcase or those weird sort of metal, like they look like almost laundry basket type stuff. Get yourself something that you can proudly display and that'll make your collection really pop on the shelf. Other than that, if you do like these kind of collecting tip videos or you want to learn more about stuff you shouldn't be doing so that you can save money, you should check out this video right here because it'll really help you out in your collecting journey.